Southern Section champion. And no on three, no on three. One, two, three, no on. Here last year in the division. They are qualifying for the state meet. So qualifying for the state meet. And he will be the division one Southern Section champion. Division one, Southern Section champions, Good battle, Ariaga and... Two and one. 2018 CF Southern Section Division II Championships at Riverside Course, Newberry Park came out and dominated. Scored 51 points, won by 53, and was sizes up as the toughest division of the day. Three guys in the top 10, Nico Young, course record 14, 24.2. We had also Jace Ashbrenner and Ethan Wonk, also top 10 finishes. First five guys all in the top 25 commanding performance. This on the heels of proms the last eight days, nine days with shooting, the mass shooting that was national news, also the fires in the area. You guys kept your focus, you guys dominated. And you set a course record. What was the mindset for you guys coming into this week? Nico? Um, coming into this week, we knew we had to win this race to give us the confidence to win the state meet and make a statement. That's what we did. Okay. Uh, Jace, do you have any, uh, do you guys think you guys might dominate at this level? A surprise, or do you guys think it was possible? I think it was going to be a close race between us, Claremont, and Loyola. They're both really good teams, and we have to respect <laughs> that. But um, we were confident in our abilities, and we were able to pull through today. Ethan, how's the last like nine, ten days been with what's been going on? Um, it's been kind of ridiculous. Uh, like I know, like everything that's been going on has really hit our community really hard. It's been like really hard for all of us to like kind of like like keep our focus and just like like keep our energy high. And um, Sean's actually done a really good job with that, like just getting us to places where we've been able to run. Um, and it's just been like it's been really hard for all of us. But I think having this and, and having this team has really gotten us through a lot of it. That and a lot of stuff that's going on. And I think just like. like Having those goals and, and having those things to push to has really, really helped, uh, like, like rocket us through uh, the tough time. I've talked to Coach, kept in contact a little bit the last several days. Last time we communicated, he mentioned you guys were able to avoid the the, the, the fires. Basically, did that hold up? You guys all escaped that pretty well. Yeah. Thank goodness, Coach. You mentioned you thought you guys could do this and yeah. be this commanding in a sense. But in, in hindsight, what's what's the best part of what you saw today? You know that. Well, these guys haven't surprised me all year. I feel like they always step up and do what they need to do when when asked. Um, but, you know, if I look at it in a whole, you know, our, our four or five shine through today. They ran up where they needed to. They just listened. We were very detailed to what we wanted to do, like we always are. And they all did their part. And I, I guess can't say that yet. They did exactly what they needed to do. Uh, we have something in store next week, and we just got to keep this momentum. All right, if you can, real quick in wrapping up, uh, each of their seven names and maybe one, one good thing about them you've seen so far, either recently or today. All right, uh, you know, we'll start today with my uh, seventh man, uh, Daniel Appleford. He's only a freshman. You know, he's just to make this team, I think, is an is amazing thing as a freshman. Um, you know, <laughs> and then, uh, you know, Colin right here, Colin uh, Salmon, he's a... Uh, he was able to make our team as a freshman also. He's been running fifth and uh, sixth man this season. 15.06, I think his PR is. It's pretty amazing. Uh, definitely not scared of anything. Uh, I'm super proud of him. Uh, Jace Ashbrenner, you know, he had a rough one this year being, you know, missing three weeks of training, but coming back with vengeance and, uh, you know, came through today in 14.42. My, uh, my senior leader right here, Ethan Ronk. You know, honestly, he's, he's the glue right now, holding his team together, a little bit more experienced, and uh, what a job today. Uh, I think he ran 14.55, and I was pretty proud of that. Um, you know, Nick Goldstein's only a sophomore, another young one. We have a young team and a good team. Uh, you know, he, again, he stepped up and ran right in the front. I think he was our, our fifth man today, but he's running fourth man all year and uh, always seems to come through, and I, I see big things next week from him. And, uh, you know, Kendall Long here. You know, like I said, pr pretty uh, pretty awesome race today. He stepped it up to fourth man. That's the highest place finish I think he had for us. He's a senior, and uh, I'm just uh, really proud of it. his uh, his guts today, especially at uh, about a mile and three quarters of taking off and going for it. And then uh, last but not least, you know, Nico Young, course record. I think it kind of speaks for itself, but uh, let me tell you, there's still more in the tank with this guy. We're going to have a big one next week. All right, once again, winning by 53 points, scoring 51, the dominant Division II champions. Next up, the state meet, the repping Southern section, and the 805. 805 strong. Way to go, guys.